stop working harder. In this episode, I'm going to update all of you on my AI stock photography workflow and how I used it to increase my earnings in stock photography. Last year, I shared with you my AI workflow, and since then, I have been able to use it to increase my monthly earnings by at least $50 every month. Today, I'm going to update you on how I make that process even faster. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jason Yoder. I'm an Arizona-based photographer who enjoys capturing the world through the lens of my camera. I hope you find this channel entertaining and inspiring as I take you with me on my photography journey. Subscribe to my channel to enjoy more videos like this. Since publishing my AI workflow to all of you in February 2024, I have really changed the way how I approach stock photography. First of all, I don't upload photos to it any longer. Now I still upload generative AI and videos are also still worth it. My photos I upload to my fine art site at explorethjason.com. Since making this change, when I go travel, I'm no longer pressured to photograph as much as I can and sell them for pennies as stock photography. I'm now more focused on enjoying the moment and finding the opportunities to capture amazing photos. Now I'm not a fan of the people who generate an AI image and try to pull it off as the real world thing. I'm still focused on generating background images for graphic artists. And right now I'm focused on Christmas images. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is. Yes, I know it's July, but hey, if the Hallmark Channel can do Christmas in July, it's for good reason. It's because graphic artists right now are purchasing Christmas themed images so that they can put that out to their customers in time for the holiday season. Let's take a look at how this entire process now works. So first off, I'm going to look up some Christmas themed images that I like. So I'm going to go over here to Google and I'm just simply going to do magical Christmas images. And going over to images, I can then select an image that I'm interested in. The other thing I could do is possibly generate the image. Now I'm going to use Copilot. Create a Christmas themed image with a magical Christmas tree. Make the predominant color blue. All right, let's see what it comes up with. All right, so here's the image it came up with. And let's say I like this image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and download this image. And I'm going to go ahead and save it to a location on my hard drive. Now, if I did this in Google and I saved an image to my hard drive that I want to use as my reference, this is how I'm going to get my search engine optimization, my SEO from it. I'm going to go ahead and add in and I'm going to upload a photo. And then of course I can pull that photo off of my hard drive and use that. Or if it's one that's already made inside of a Copilot, I can just go ahead and apply directly to it my little statement that generates my SEO, my title, my description, and my keywords. Now, if you want my query, what I use to generate this, go over to patreon.com forward slash EWJ, register as a free member, and then take a look at my posting on July 20th, 2025. And I'll give you the query that I use to create my search engine optimization for this particular photo. I'm going to go ahead and copy this search engine optimization, the keywords, the description, the title. And really quickly, I'm going to scan through here because I want to make sure that the AI didn't throw anything in there that wouldn't be appropriate. So we got enchanting blue Christmas tree with magic holiday glow, a stunning blue themed Christmas tree shimmering with a magical holiday glow set against a festive winter background. Perfect for seasonal designs and holiday promotions. So far, so good. And then just a quick glance here through all of the keywords. I'm not too sure about Enchanted Forest. I'm going to take away Enchanted Forest. Christmas decoration, season artwork, festive spirit, blue holiday theme, escape, Ellie did it. Okay, and New Year's Celebration. No, this has nothing to do with that. So we're going to take away New Year's Celebration. All right, so I've optimized out my SEO. Now I need to generate the images. So I'm over here at Discord, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to describe. 
And then I'm going to choose to describe an image. And now I'm going to go ahead and give it the image and let it come up with a couple of descriptions for that image. And this is what we're going to use to generate our version of this content. So I have four different options here. I want to click on the first one and it gives me an aspect ratio of 85 by 128. Well, for this one, what I'm going to do is I want to set it to the same aspect ratio of a greeting card. So I'm going to tell it to generate this as a five by seven and I'm going to go ahead and generate each one of these items. Again, I'm going to do it as a five by seven. Now I also want to do some landscape images. So I'm going to generate it again. And this time I'm going to go, we'll do a 16 by nine. So it's more or less going to be able to fit on your monitor. And again, I'll generate these for each one of the four descriptions that Discord came up with for me. You can see we're in mid journey now and all of my images have generated. I need to choose which one of these images I want to upscale so that I can sell them online. So this is where I'm going to be a little selective. I'm going to start here at the beginning. And if there's anything I don't like about the image that I'm not going to upscale, like for example, I don't like this little bush that's down here in the lower right. This one looks pretty good. So I'll go ahead and select to upscale it. And again, I'll go through each one of these. I'm not really a fan of that one. Not really that one. Uh, yeah, this one's okay. And again, I'll choose the ones that I am interested in developing. Once Mid Journey finishes up the upscaling, I'm just going to cycle through each one of these and click the download button. So I've got all my images load up in Lightroom. So I'm going to press Control A to select them all. I'm going to right click and go to enhance. I'm going to make sure super resolution selected and enhance the images. Now that the super resolution is finished, I'm going to hit control A to select all the images and then I'm going to click export. Time to start adding the metadata. So I'm going to take the title and then go to the exported images. I'm just going to click control A to select all F2 to rename control V and I'm going to paste the title in there. Now I'm going to press alt enter to bring up the properties and in the details, I'm going to paste the title going back to the AI generative content for the metadata. I'm going to take the description, copy it, and then I'm going to paste that in the subject and the comments field. And then finally, I'm going to take the keywords and copy those and click them in the tags field or excuse me, paste them into the tags field. I'm going to click apply and then OK. That's it. Your AI generative images are ready to be uploaded for sale at the stock photography sites. Now, I do recommend that you spread the upload of these images out across several days. Otherwise, the stock agencies may flag you for spamming them and start rejecting your images. Let me know what you think in the comments. Yeah.